news from the region, and from around the state. It's Florida Focus. Welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Julia Papakota. And I'm Kathleen Sedita. Today is President's Day, and this is the news. The University of South Florida President Judy Genshaft met with Senator J.D. Alexander this afternoon to discuss proposed budget cuts. The meeting comes after Alexander gave his support to a bill that would turn USF's Polytechnic campus into Florida's 12th state university. The meeting will mark the first time that the two have met in months. Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office and Fire Department responded to a mobile home fire in Gibsonton yesterday evening. After firefighters extinguished the blaze, they discovered one dead. Authorities are investigating to determine the, the identity of the deceased, cause of death, and cause of the fire. The Tampa Bay Lightning and the University of South Florida team up to offer a two-year master's degree program in sports and entertainment management. The Lightning Foundation will help fund the program, which begins this August. The program will induct up to 20 students and include opportunities for paid internships. Our new director, Bill Sutton, Dr. Bill Sutton, is, has connections with organizations all over the world and will, able, will be able to provide internships and residencies for students with professional sports and other major organizations all over the country. With more in local sports, we have Victoria Rapp joining us in the studio. Thank you. Today, the Tampa Bay Rays pitchers and catchers report to Port Charlotte for spring training. The first spring training game is March 3rd against the Minnesota Twins in Fort Myers. The Rays return to the Bay Area to verse the Yankees on March 7th. We'll take it back up north to hear about a courageous rescue in Levy County. Here's Destiny McKeever with more on the story. According to the Coast Guard, three men are lucky to be alive after being missing for nearly 10 hours off of Cedar Key. Rescuers found the men adrift and clinging to the hull of their catamaran, which did not have any emergency equipment available. Their names and their conditions have not been released. And finally tonight, a cat named Snowbell returned home after being missing for three years. A Hernando County resident found Snowbell and dropped him off at Animal Control. The outside cat's microchip pointed Animal Control to his owners. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.